Good morning. Please join in singing number 728, The King of Glory, number 728. The King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Who is the King of Glory? How shall we call him? He is Emmanuel, the promise of ages. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for gathering here as we celebrate liturgy this morning here in the sanctuary along with those that are following online at home. This morning's mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Crisanto Molino and for Rose Moore the Living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Lord Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to you a church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Maltus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the Church of Ephesus. Keep watching over yourselves and the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the Church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, Savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by the hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of our Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing, Sing to, to God, God, O kingdoms, kingdoms of, the of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power. 
the power, O oh God, with which you took our part for your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O oh King of the earth. Your kingdoms of the earth sing to God, chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing Thank praise God. God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Bless you, May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Lifting his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be uh, me one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak thus in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I give them your word, and the world hated them, because they did not, do not belong to the word. My, any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world and I consecrate myself for them so that they may also be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Consecrate them by your truth and your word is truth. Jesus is praying for unity. He's praying for his disciples to remain together in unity with love, with peace. To continue to recognize that truth will set them free. The first reading we hear Paul. He's in the situation that is going to lead the community but he insists them to remain in truth, to remain together. But at the same time, to continue to proclaim the good news no matter what. Because by standing together with truth, they will be set free. My dear brothers and sisters, it's almost two day, three days to come, we are going to celebrate the Feast of the Pentecost. The Holy Spirit guides us and gives us strength. The Holy Spirit empowers us so that we can proclaim the good news with the truth. What is truth in our lives? We are living in a world today, people, they say there is a white lies. I don't know what does it mean. 
You know, Father, yeah, I did it. This is a white lie. It's a lie. It's not a why, no, it's a lie, it's a lie. But people have changed the way of seeing things. They want to see the way they want to see themselves. But God always has reminded us that truth will set you free. Open up your heart and say the truth. Yesterday, we had a very good uh, service for the healing service at night. And we are praying, asking the Holy Spirit to heal us. You know, sometimes we forgot that we are all sick. We are sick either physically, emotionally, psychologically, physiologically, and even socially. And the Holy Spirit is the healer of our struggles in life. And sometimes you see someone just standing there, you ask your Father Daniel, are you okay? You have seen something different in my life. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Transforms them, consecrates them in your truth. Because your word is truth. Let us come to the power of the Holy Spirit so that we can be empowered by his love and mercy. But be honest and be open to ask for his healing mercy. You are sick. You need God's help. You are sick. You need to be healed. And that's why we always call to know that we are healers to one another. So when I see you, I see you, you have something to make a difference in my life. By the grace of God, the Holy Spirit always empowers us. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for empowering us through the power of the Holy Spirit. And you pray for us to be united with power of love and spirit. Give us courage always to walk through as you guide us for this celebration of the Pentecost. And for this we pray. For us to listen to the words of scripture, to find the truth for how we are to live our lives today, we pray to the Lord. For us to realize that we too are being sent into the world to proclaim God's good news, we pray to the Lord. For today's cloth in power video to increase people's understanding of the Holy Spirit and how to deepen their relationship with him, we pray to the Lord. For family faith families to have the faith they need to continue to practice their faith throughout the summer months, we pray to the Lord. For all those in hospitals, nursing homes, homebound, all suffering in silence to be comforted by God's love and our prayers, we pray to the Lord. For the QHR, Inc. members in, or, in honor of St. Isidore that they will be more blessed, we pray to the Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that if partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Crisanto Molino, whom you have called from this world to yourself, 
Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in all mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and o honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At this Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, so peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, bless are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
when the paraclete comes, whom I will send you the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you also will bear witness, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Deacon Tom, I want to say thank you for your prayers. And for those who are watching online, also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. We are called to continue to recognize that God has given us the power of love and the power of peace. And by doing that, we can continue to proclaim the good news, the good news of truth. Truth will set you free. Don't say a wise lie. Say the truth. In the presence of God, you just said the truth. If you have made a mistake, I'm sorry, I did wrong. And that will be blessed. To court something, no, will not work. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ending, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing, I have to count, the fifth verse of the King of Glory, number 700, and 28. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. He conquered sin and death, he truly has risen, and he will share with us his heavenly vision. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices.